Hi, Jerry Kafitz here with Omega Chemical. And we're doing another in our series of videos on truck washing called The Five Secrets of Truck Washing. The Five Secrets of Truck Washing. I think one of the important things in life is to be able to benefit from the experience and the successes and the failures of others rather than having to make all the mistakes yourself. So after many, many years in the truck washing business in a very difficult and, and, and challenging environment, um, the northern Great Plains, Great Lakes area, where washing in the winter is uh, a challenge, as some of you may know, we're, we're relating and sharing some of those secrets with you here that can make the difference between success and failure, between moderate success and great success in the fleet washing business. One of the big secrets in truck washing has to do with equipment and techniques. Equipment and techniques. Now, being the president of a chemical company, uh, I obviously have a tendency to relate a lot of things back to the chemical nature of this business, but it's because I've been in the business, not just in the chemical business, but in the truck washing business, and I understand what goes on and what the challenges are at the end of uh, 75 or 100 feet of high pressure hose. The most important thing that I can tell you about truck washing is know your enemy. Know your enemy. What is it that you're trying to defeat? What is it that you're trying to eliminate? What is it that you're trying to vanquish? And if you just have a general term for that, and that term is dirt, I'm just trying to get rid of dirt, then I would suggest to you that you don't really understand what you're up against. Here is what you're up against in the fleet washing business. You're up against two things. You're up against oxidation and you're up against road dirt. Are they the same? No, they're not. They're not the same. And if you insist on attacking them and, and going after them in the same way, you're not going to be anywhere near as successful as you could be if you understood what needs to take place from a chemical perspective, a chemical perspective. And what is that? Well, there's no variation when it comes to oxygen, okay? Oxygen, the first stage of rust, the bond of oxygen uh, to a metal surface, that is universal. You're gonna, that's called road film in, in, in truck washers terminology. There's no variation there. Dirt varies all over the country. Whether you're talking about the red clay dirt of, uh, of the Southern Plains and, and the Southeast, or you're, you're talking about uh, uh, other kinds of, 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 of dirt that are characteristic to certain regions in the country, tremendous variation there, and you have to have a little bit more of a sophisticated approach to, to, to challenging that. But when it comes to oxidation, which is most of what we're out there trying, trying, trying to defeat, that's where the battle is fought that's what the war is all about, then you have to understand the bond between that element, that uh, character, road film, oxidation, first stage of rust, the bond between that and the surface. What is it? It's an oxygen metal bond. So you have to defeat that bond. Now you can defeat it a whole bunch of different ways. You can get an SOS soap pad. You can get a brush and brush until your arms are falling off and in most cases you'll have a clean trailer. You know, uh, you're, you also be paralyzed when you get home. And uh, been there, done that, didn't like it, found a better way. So what are we saying here? We're saying understand the chemical nature of what you're trying to remove and how it is secured or affixed or bound to the surface of the vehicle you're trying to clean. Once you do, you'll understand one thing. You need an acid-based product that's generous in hydrofluoric acid, namely a good aluminum brightener to clean metal, metal vehicles, and you need a high pH alkaline to defeat the organic proteins that adhere to synthetic surfaces. Now what you just heard is something that most people in the truck washing business don't understand. They relate to it, they understand it, they believe it, but they've never seen it or heard it expressed in terms that are that simple and that accurate. So when you know that, you're equipped to evaluate and make a good choice in terms of clean, cleaning chemicals. If you've got a truck wash liquid that doesn't have a pH that's awful close to 14, then uh, you know you're out there in, in, in the wild with, an under, with, with a BB gun when uh, 
when you ought to have a Winchester rifle. That's the name of the game. The name of the game is high pH alkaline product with good surfactants, good detergents, and, 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 and significant binding agents, which most chemicals don't have because they don't have that much in it, that can fall out of suspension where a binding agent is necessary. That's what a cheap soap is. And a good aluminum brightener is an aluminum brightener with a pH less than one, preferably close to zero, and if you can get zero, that's what you're looking for. And you want something too that's going to give you what we call a satin shine, not just a bleached out, whitened look of most aluminum brighteners. And our aluminum brighteners at Omega Chemical for truck washing, for fleet washing, for mobile washing, for pressure washing, do that. They give you that satin, satin shine, um, which, is, uh, which is a sight to, to behold. I mean, when you clean a fleet, and the owner of that fleet looks at the aluminum and says, that's what I remember it looking like when that truck was new, then you've done a good job. But you've done a good job because you've found the right aluminum brightener and the right truck wash. So that's what we're all about at Omega Chemical. It's all about understanding the delivery of the product and what goes after that, understanding that a pressure washer is not for cleaning, it's for rinsing, understanding that a good downstream injection system is essential to delivering the product which ought to be delivered at a good economical dilution ratio 20 to 1 you ought to be able to buy it five six dollars a gallon and if you can do that you're going to be successful if not uh, I'm not telling you you're not going to be successful but life's going to be a lot harder for you in this business than it needs to be so there you go the five secrets of truck washing I hope you'll see the, all the videos in this series it's been a pleasure making it and sharing uh, this information with you that we learned the hard way. We really did. And uh, not a lot of companies can say this, but what we learned, we learned in the mud. Not in sales meetings, as you'll see stated over and over again in our website. So thanks again for watching this video. I appreciate your time. Thanks.